The British Library, a historic institution with collections going back centuries, but also a young one created only 40 years ago. Over the past four decades, the library has seen exciting changes and faced challenges too, but we continue to innovate and to surprise people every day. I'd never run my own business before. I made an appointment to go and see somebody who introduced me to all the range of amazing workshops. And from that moment, really, it's just been invaluable. They're trying to inspire. When you're starting a business, that is incredible. The exhibition I was involved in is called Writing for London, where groups of young people took part in the project using creative writing and photography to express what London means to them. It was a really good feeling to have, just to know that my work's on there and everyone can see it. It was amazing. I was trying to research the capital of Crete during the Venetian period. I don't feel like I've discovered things and put together a picture of things which hasn't been done before. Thanks to our donors, we've been able to make our collections go further and to enable more people to discover what we do. The Mewa Ramayana Digital Reunification Project is designed to bring together folios from a dispersed Ramayana manuscript. Thanks to the generosity of our donors, we have now been able to create a resource that will open up the manuscript for the first time in over 150 years. Three years ago, we first had discussions with the Qatar Foundation about the possibility of working together to produce something that would really transform people's understandings of the past, in particular in relation to the Gulf. The digital version will become a sort of tool to preserve the item itself. The content will be available online, so the fact that we can actually preserve the item as it is, to me, is a great opportunity. Our exhibitions incite debate and get people talking. Propaganda is a subject on which we all have views and quite strong opinions, but it's often a subject on which we don't always all agree. In this exhibition, we're really excited about the debate on propaganda, what people feel about it, what people think it is. We're breaking new ground as we begin to archive over four million websites in the biggest change in the library's history. Where do you begin when you start an archive like this? What do you even start with? The project really is very ambitious. The scope is to try and archive all UK websites. As the city develops all around us, we look forward to the future and what the next 40 years will bring for this remarkable British library. <laughs> <laughs>